I don't remember. Was this made before Resident Evil 2 remake, or was it made after? It's possible they made it before, and that's why it doesn't look so great. Where this place is a dump. Oops. Right, other than the fact that it's a woman who appears to only be wearing a shirt, I can't tell anything else. Looks like a man's left shoulder and there's someone's legs on the ground in front of him. Whoever lives here takes some really terrible photos. <clears throat> right, we have 1F, 2F, and 3F. We'll assume there's a 4F somewhere, despite the obvious military reference. Oh, don't. That was noisy. Oh, yes, let's play with the VHS. Oh, we don't have a tape to watch. A cell door. So somewhere they have cells where they presumably kept people prisoner or hostage. So this is a cable that runs to a brick and just disappears. That explains why there's nothing on the TV. Oh, it has another cable that runs up here. So these cables kind of look like Romex, which is what you run through the walls for electrical. In the United States, it's legal to use it without a conduit. Oh, okay, it comes from the fuse panel over here. So theoretically, if we find the fuse, I guess that would be for the TV. But the TV has power, it's already running. All right, I guess it's time to go upstairs. Did I go in here? Yeah, I did. You know, if there's supposed to be any detail on that painting, you really can't see it with all that black. Honestly, I almost think that the HDR in this game is more distraction than anything else. Um, what the hell does this do? Maybe stairs pop out of the ceiling or something. Take you up to another level. Oh, look at that. No, I don't have a cassette. Oh, I can save my game. I will wait until I'm done in this room, at least. Because if there's one thing I remember about Resident Evil games, it's that they count how many times you save. As I say that, it looks like there's nothing else to do here, so... Yes, because I would totally turn off my PC in the middle of saving my game. Just like I would turn it off in the middle of Windows updates. No, we don't have a fuse yet, but let's see if this VHS would play. And for those of you who are too young to know, it's a reel of magnetic tape inside of a plastic box. Did you find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. 
this new guy? I'm not feeling it. Oh. Again? Okay, I was kind of wondering. Surprised if we have to make a change. This is going to be a terrible video. New plan. We do a walk through the inside first, then we shoot the intro. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? Ecstatic. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. I don't drop the F-bomb, but you guys do in my video. Thank you. I guess it's a good thing I don't mark my videos as suitable for rolling? children. All right, let's go. <clears throat> this explains Get why the door is open. Uh, it's locked. Uh. Not anymore. After you. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? This guy obviously takes his job huh. seriously. I was an anchor, you know. We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. How long did you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. This will make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! I know I should have worn my good shoes. <laughs> Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? He's Andre. probably in the fridge. Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? Nope. He's not. Well, I doubt he stuffed himself in the microwave. Why that nasty thing isn't in there. And no bugs this time. Quite a bit of this is the same, and some of it isn't. Where is he? Unfucking believable. This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you stick with me. Didn't he say kind of the opposite before we walked into this house? That was a noise. It's probably something falling. Open the door. Andre? Where the fuck is he? Andre, where are you, man? Still only three fuses. TV's off. That's a fireplace. Oh. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. Well, I guess that told us something important, didn't it? I doubt I ever would have looked in the fireplace for a switch or a lever or whatever the hell that was. 
You first. Need a nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder. So, uh, you first. <laughs> Yeah, they do usually make the cameraman call down the hole first. What do you first. see? What is it? It's a hole. Like a basement or something. Not entirely certain what that is. Almost looks like some kind of bed or cot. Oh, hey, it's uh, Andre. He's bleeding from his eyeballs. <laughs> Apparently someone didn't want any video evidence. Jesus. So what are we going to do? We are going to crawl right down there after them. Let me take that tape back out of there. Oh, it's already out. Okay. Wait a minute. I didn't look at this earlier. This must be the family. Whoever lived here. I wonder if that was even usable. You know, if I could have found that and activated it before viewing the tape. I already looked at that. Just or does this guy's voice sound a little bit like Chris? Damn it. At least when he's grunting. Well, this hasn't gone anywhere in however many years it's been since that VHS was recorded. Time to crawl. But does the light not work down here or something? We're just pretending that the light's a little too restricted because of the low ceiling, I guess. What is bubbling in here? Gas? Gas from rotting corpses, apparently. So, shouldn't that have been floating the whole time? Let's see, I don't see anything on the walls other than the, this. Is this all the missing people? A bunch of like stock photographs they grabbed off the internet. Someone's plumbing goes down really far. It's another one of these uh, carts or something. Because it looks like it's cans of something in boxes. Oh, I'm just seeing the uh, light reflecting off the water. That's interesting. It didn't tell me to press a button to open the door. Okay, so I just have to assume I can open doors. It's not very consistent.
Interesting how the lighting color changes down here. Bed frame. Can I walk through here? No. Can't open anything. Is that the syringes? Toilet full of old nasty syringes. So they've, they've still got the little plastic caps on them, so it looks like they haven't been used. That's a disgusting place to keep your syringes. Oh, there's a body in there. Sometimes figuring out how to straighten this with the mouse is a little weird. Well, that's interesting. I've got a list of names with uh, either a really long dash or hyphen or a blank spot to fill something in. And either the word turned or the word dead. The bottom one has the letter L. What could L mean? Lost? Loose? We have a different list of names in the pack. Oh. Interesting. Well, we're definitely going to need bolt cutters at some point. I assume those are taking up. Yes, they are. I should probably... Uh... My question is, is there going to be a box? Because Resident Evil 2 and 3 had a box. But I don't think any of the others did. Oh, no, wait. Maybe Resident Evil 4 did. I haven't really played much of Resident Evil 1. And haven't touched Resident Evil 0 either. Should I have checked out that cell first? I'll go check out the cell first. I'm always afraid to go yeah. the wrong way. Okay, that's probably her. So let's go this way first. So I don't want to go the way I'm supposed to first. I want to check everything out before I do. If I don't miss anything. Um, are those nasty trash bags? On earth you get trash bags with the fat pattern on them. A lot of shoes down here. And broken glass, I think. I kind of wonder if someone who used to work for Umbrella lives here. A very strange setup. Okay, let's just keep going. Looks like it ends here. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if the message that brought him here was probably a lure sent by, you know, whoever's been torturing people here. 